Okay. Let's do this, shall we? Mary by Nat Cassidy. I've already filmed this like three times, but uh, I was out of frame. I was trying to use the rear camera and not be able to see where I'm at. It didn't work out. So here we are. Mary by Nat Cassidy. I am really, really enjoying this book. It is about a middle-aged woman. She is having some uh, psychological symptoms. <laughs> she is seeing things, hearing things, something is not right. And she goes to the doctor. They say, you're fine. It's perimenopause. Don't worry about it. This is normal. Newsflash, not the problem. But some doctors just don't like to so, listen. Mary ends up losing her job because the place that she's working at is going in a different direction. They fire her because of her age. So she is devastated about that, but her aunt Nadine calls and needs her help because unfortunately Nadine's health is not the greatest and she says that she is dying and needs Mary to come help take care of her because her daughter Brenda is away. So Nadine, being the good girl that she is, that is a phrase that she uses, um, goes and helps Nadine, even though she can't stand her. So she goes to her old hometown and is starting to remember bits and pieces of her past. And there are things going on there that just aren't adding up. She is seeing things more now. And when she looks in the mirror, this is her first symptom that started. And she told the doctor is that her face, when she looks in the mirror, goes from her everyday face, normal, fine, and like morphs into this like corpse. And she doesn't know why, but it's just menopause. Let's remember that. That is what's going on with Mary. And I am 150 pages, 158 pages into this book. And I am enjoying it. I wouldn't give it five stars yet. We're, we're not even halfway. I'm leaning on a three right now. I know a lot of people were like raving about this book and I'm just not there yet. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just saying that we're not there yet. So I'm going to continue reading this and see what happens. And I will check in you guys. I will check in with you guys when I get a little bit farther and as things go, because that is my goal. I'm going to finish this book, but I'm going to check in more. We'll see if that happens. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi. It is Saturday now. It's Saturday. Haven't done much today. Did some reading though. I'm now on chapter 31 and shit has happened. Shit has happened. I am enjoying it a little bit more now that things are actually happening. And I think it's been a long time since I have read from the perspective of like an unreliable, unreliable narrator. Um, Cause she's crazy. Mary is just absolutely bonkers. Yeah, she's, she's killing people. She either currently is or is going to, I have no doubts about that, that Mary is gonna just go off the deep end and then what else happened today let's see we went to breakfast um Ryan took me out for breakfast Whew. what time is it oh it's six o'clock no wonder I'm getting sleepy <laughs> it's rainy and gross outside and now I'm getting sleepy um then we went to Starbucks and surprisingly I did not get a tea at Starbucks I know shocking and then came back home. I worked in my reading journal, which I will show you. I'll get some little clips of that. Um, and yeah, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go back inside. I was gonna try to read out here cause I do like the rain, um, but I hate the cold. And it's a little chilly as you can tell from my hoodie and my sweatpants. Sorry, I'm covered in dog hair, but you know, husky mom life, what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go and continue my reading journal. I should try to get some pictures and stuff for Instagram, I think, too. And I need to finish editing my previous video 
I need to edit that and make the thumbnail and get it up on YouTube. I've got a lot to do today. It's already six and I, don't, I didn't really get a whole lot done. I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks and see if I can read in the cafe a little bit because I get distracted at home. In Mary, I didn't read any more of that last night. I actually um, wanted to start the Promised Neverland and holy shit, holy shit. I'll talk more on that later, but good Lord, I was not expecting that. Like I knew it was not what it seemed. I knew that it was gonna be like a horror um, thriller, I think, like scary kind of vibe. But I didn't know that it was gonna be like that. Like within the first few pages, it just was like, oh yeah, just these kids, you know, living in an orphanage and, and enjoying their life and then bam. Not so much, not so much enjoyment. So yeah, there's that. But I am liking it. There's just 20 volumes and I have no idea how I'm going to acquire all 20 because I only have three. I don't know. All right, let's continue this walk. My plan now is that I am going to go to Starbucks I am going to get a coffee and I'm also going to get tea because duh. And then I need to go to Sheets to get gas. My mom gave me a gift card, so I need to go get gas. And yeah, I'm just going to hang out in Starbucks for a little while, read. I really hope my seat in the corner is open because if not, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't like sitting in that middle seat because I have my bag with all my crap in it. And I'm, I don't like sitting in between people. I prefer to be in like the corner, like tucked away, like please don't notice me. I'm also thinking about going to our cemetery and seeing if I can get some cool, like, pictures and stuff there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know about that because it's kind of gross outside. But that would add to the eerie vibe, so we'll see. But yeah, that's what we're going to go do. So let's go have fun. Thank you. 
let's do this quick. I'm on my lunch break and my book of the month box was delivered. So let's go ahead and open this. So I can show you guys what I got. I didn't get an add on. I just got one of the monthly selections. I didn't get anything last month because I wasn't a fan, but oh, look at this cover. Oh, this cover's awesome. So I picked Sign Here by Claudia Lux. I don't know much about this book except it follows a man who works for hell in like the souls department <laughs> and apparently it's filled with dark humor and he is trying to get um, one last member of this family to sell their soul to the devil I believe is what's happening here um, I picked this because horror dark humor a guy working in hell up my alley so that is what I got for my book of the month and then I did start the promise Neverland the other day and I believe I've already mentioned it but I just I'm obsessed I'm obsessed I am on chapter five and I don't want to give anything away for this because I think you really need to read this going in blind this is rated like older teen like T plus um there is a little bit of dark subject matter so this cover is very deceiving but i don't want to tell you what that is because it's better if you don't know but where i'm at is if you know like the mom in here they're on to her we know something we know something and I'm very interested. I'm very interested. I really want all 20 volumes of this. And I only have three and I just need to, I don't know if my library might have them or maybe digitally my library would have them. But I'm going to acquire all 20. I could put them on my Christmas list. We shall see. I need to, I need to get all of these. That is, that is a must. Thank you. 